Welcome to a short overview of filicide motivation. Filicide is classified as the murder of a child by his or her parents, step-parents or guardian and can be intentional or unintentional. Philip Resnick developed his five-factor model for filicide in 1969. It included the following categories. Altruism, where the parent truly believes he or she is doing the right thing by the child. Psychosis, where the parent is mentally ill and loses touch with reality. Fatal battering, where the child is beaten to death. This category also includes negligence and domestic violence. Unwanted child, where the child is murdered because it is unwanted to begin with. This happens most often with unplanned pregnancies and when another relationship is impacted adversely by the presence of the child. Revenge. This child is murdered as an act of revenge against a, an ex-partner or someone else with a close relationship with the child. Filicide rates in developed nations are relatively similar. In Australia, approximately 34 babies and children are victims of filicide each year. Filicide rates in developing nations is much higher, especially in countries like India and China, where infant girls in particular are regularly killed as they are seen as a burden on society and a waste of resources. There are three main psychological theories that could help explain filicide as a motivational construct. These are evolutionary theory, drive theory, and the humanistic theory. Evolutionary theory uses genetic adaptations and abilities as explanations for psychological and behavioural phenomena. This theory could help explain filicide as a side effect of adaptation or due to environmental, energy or resource limitations. Drive theory is based on the theory that the body tries to maintain a set internal state. Action is taken to reduce imbalances caused by unmet needs, such as needing space away from the child, maintaining a relationship other than that with the child, or fear of rejection by the child. The humanistic theory focuses on each individual's innate desire to reach self-actualization. Maslow's hierarchy of needs requires each of the lower needs to be met before moving on to the next level of the hierarchy. Filicide motivation could be explained by lower needs such as safety needs not being met. The parent would feel as though they did not have the resources or capacity to love and nurture a child. This is also suggested by research that has indicated poverty and low education as risk factors for filicide. The main risk factors for filicide, as determined by reviewing several studies, are summarised here. Filicide rates have declined greatly over the last two centuries due to better contraception, obstetric care, mental health care and cultural changes. Filicide rates could be decreased further by using risk factors to determine who is at risk, an increase in education and support for new families. Filicide is a real issue in today's society, although there are strategies that could be implemented in order to reduce its prevalence.